Okay. All right. Here we go. How to write an equation from a graph. Say like we had, I don't know, a line like that. I'm going to show you how you can write an equation like y equals 7x minus 30. Something like that. Actually, we'll do something a little bit simpler than that. Okay, but first, before we get into that, I'm going to show it to you backwards. I'll show you again how to start with an equation and turn it into a graph so that when we're looking at a graph and turning the equation, I think it'll make more sense. So, pardon me as I sip my coffee here. Let's start with this equation, y equals 3x. What this means when we're dealing with coordinate planes is the y coordinate of every point on this line will be 3 times whatever the x is. So, if my x is 1, my y will be 3, etc. So, step one, let's make a little table of points on the line. And the way you do that is you just pick a few x coordinates, just anything that comes to mind. 0 is one that's really nice and easy, easy to calculate. I'll show you why. My white 0. Um, I don't know, let's, let's be pretty boring. One and two. Okay, so if x is zero, y is three times zero. So what's y gonna be? Zero, all right. Now what if x is one? If x is one, y is three times that, so y will be three. And if x is two, y is three times two, so it'll be six. So now we've got three ordered pairs here that we can turn into points on the coordinate plane. So let's let's graph those. So zero zero, x is zero, y is zero. That'll be right there. One three. So x is one, one, then y is three, one, two, three, and then two six. Uh, x one two, and then one two three four five six. Okay, so there are three points on our line. We could connect them with a line, like, why that? Uh, let's try that. I'm gonna make it, make it green. Let's move that over so it actually is intersecting those points. Okay. So there, now you've graphed this equation, y equals three x. Okay, so let's do it the other way. Oops, get that these guys out of here. Okay, like how that magically, magically appeared like that. Okay, so say like I've got this line on the graph and I want to ask you what's an equation that describes that line? So it's kind of backwards of what we what we just did. Let's find couple key points on this line and then let's see if we can see a relationship between them. So I'm just going to mark um, three different points to look at. Uh, there's a point, there's a point, and there's a point. Now let's re record what those points are. Grab my pen. So what is this? This is x is 1, and y is 1. 1 and 1. Okay, what about this point here? See, x is 1, 2, and y is 1, 2. Also, 2, 2. And then let's look at this third point. One. So x is 1, 2, 3. y is 1, 2, 3. The third point there is 3, 3. So what's the relationship between x and y. If you have x, what is y equal? Well, it's the same thing. x is equal to y. So our equation is simply y equals x. Okay, that was pretty simple. So let me give you a little bit of a tougher one. Alright, so I give you another line here. And it's a little bit tougher than the first one. So let's let's follow our process. Let's pick out a few points that we want to highlight. Um, I'll say that one, that one, and 
that one. And let's record the locations of these points. Let's record their coordinates. So this first one, what's x? x is 0. What's y when x is 0? 1, 2. So y is 2. So that first point is located at 0, 2. Well, the second point, uh, x is 1, and then y is 1, 2, 3. Third one, so x is 1, 2, 3, and y is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what's an equation that describes the relationship between x and y? Well, if x is 0, then y is 2. If x is 1, then y is 3. What's the relationship between these points? Well, if you take an x and add 2 to it, you get y. So y equals x plus 2. Let's test that. Is that true? So x is 3. If we plug in 3 for x, 3 plus 2 is 5, so y would be 5. Yeah, this equation works for all three points. By the way, does anyone else think this is awesome, that you can take algebraic equations with just symbols and numbers and gobbledygook and turn it into pictures? I think that's awesome. Mass Ceratops thinks that's awesome. Check out this awesome last line. Okay, um, where do I want to put that? I think that's it. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. That's where I wanted that line. Got to keep it pretty pretty simple for you so we concentrate on what the main concept is, not not getting bogged down in any complicated details. So, I think this this line will be slightly harder, but not crazy. Okay, let's check it out. Let's plot or focus on a couple of a uh, couple of key points and I want I want I want I want to pick out points that are like right there where there's a nice easy intersection between a a whole number on the x axis and a whole number on the y axis so x is 1 and y is 2 not something like that point where x is somewhere between 0 and 1 and y is somewhere between 1 and 2 that nah eh, let's just make life easy for ourselves so I'm going to pick out that point where there's a nice little intersection and that's why it's nice to use graph paper like this paper quote unquote this is a computer there's no paper here but you know what I mean okay so I picked out three points let's record where their location is locations are so here x is 0 and y is 0 that looks familiar here x is 1, y is 1, 2, and here x is 1, 2, and y is 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 4. So we need to set up an equation that describes the relationship between x and y. So what does y equal? Well here, here x is 1 and y is 2, so you could think that maybe y is equal to x plus 1. But does that work for that third point? So if you plug in 2, x plus 1 would be 3. But as you recorded, it's actually y is 4. So what's another idea? Well, what about y equals 2x, 2 times x? Does that work? x, so 0 times 2 is 0. So that works for our first point. What about if we plug in 1 for x here? So 2 times 1 is 2, so y would be 2, so that works. The third point, y equals 2x, plug in 2 for the x, so y equals 2 times 2, which is 4. Yep, that works. So this line can be described by the equation y equals 2x. In, in other words, this line is the visual representation of this equation this relationship between X and Y. Good job, everybody. See you later.